Hello all my Annabelle friends, it's me, Hilary, and I have an art project for us today. So this one is called Freezer Bag Painting. So I've chosen some paint and I put them in a bag. I'm going to walk you through how to do it. And it's really fun because you can mix the colors together. You can make letters or shapes on the bag. You can take your cars and drive your cars over them. So as you can see here, I've made an A for Annabelle. So you will need a mom or a dad to help you with this project, or if they say it's okay, a big brother or a big sister, but we will need um, a big person's help today, okay? So if you need to press pause while you go and get them, please do so. And when you're ready, you can press play and I'll be here. Okay, so here we go. What you're gonna need is a bag with a ziplock at the top. You're also going to need to choose one or two colors of paint. So I have chosen red and yellow for my colors. So if you need to, again, pause while you choose your colors, go right ahead. Otherwise, we'll continue. So I've chosen red and yellow. I have my bag. We will also need some tape. So I have some packing tape here. And this is where um, mums or dads are gonna come in to help us. And we have some big scissors. So mums and dads, or our bro big brothers and sisters, this is gonna be your job. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our bag, open it up, and I'm gonna try to flatten mine into a bowl and I'll show you what I mean, like this. So it stands up like that. Okay, so that might be a job for mom or dad. There we go. Now you're gonna take your first color, I'm gonna choose red. Now your paint might look a little different than mine and that's okay. And we're just gonna squeeze some paint right into the bag. Now, just to know, I've also put down some paper on the table to protect my table in case the paint gets a little messy. And I would recommend doing that. So you could use a placemat or um, a piece of cardboard or a newspaper or a flyer, a piece of construction paper. And then if anything does get on the table, just make sure you have a damp cloth or paper towel to wipe up uh, the table so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, so we have our bag, we have our paint, we're going to squeeze gently, so turn it upside down, squeeze gently some paint into the bag. Now you don't need a lot, but you do need some because you want to cover the bag. And then I'm going to take my second color, so if you chose a second color, you're going to squeeze that paint, there we go, into the bag very, very carefully. Okay, there we go. So if you can see, I've got my red and my yellow in the bag. Now, we're going to flatten out the bag. So moms and dads, you might have to help with this as well. Be very careful. We don't want to spill the paint out onto the table. Okay. And then we're going to flatten out the air. So we don't want any air inside the bag with the paint. We want as much air out of the bag as possible. And we are going to zip the bag shut. So ready? Pinch. Nice. Okay, and again, moms and dads, you want to make sure that the zip is closed. So double check that. Just because we don't want the paint pouring out onto the table or the floor or the carpet or the furniture or anywhere like that. Okay, so make sure the bag is very closed and you are set. Okay, next step is when you're ready. And again, if you need to pause at any point to catch up, that's totally fine. I will be here when you press play. All right, so the next step, moms and dads, we're gonna take our tape. Pardon me, this is gonna be loud. We're gonna open, uh, get a length, but uh, uh, sorry, as long as the bag, and we're gonna tape over the zip part of it so that it can't be opened uh, 
on my little fingers again. Okay, here we go. So I've got my tape and all I'm going to do is stick it over the zip part so that it can't be opened by little fingers. So I'm going to put it half on the zip like that and then very carefully I'm going to flip it over and then just fold down the other side and this will prevent the bag from being opened. There we go. So now that paint is sealed in there for good and there's no way that we can get it open. Okay, so now you get to play. So you can lie your paper down, uh, sorry, your bag down on the table and you can just start to move that paint around and you can see different kinds of patterns that are gonna come and different sorts of things that are gonna come out of it. You can try to mix the two colors together to see what color you're gonna get. So if you chose yellow and blue, I'm excited to see what color you'll get. Or if you chose red and white, what color would you get from that? Um, I chose red and yellow, so I'm gonna see what color I can get. Now you can also um, drive cars over it, like toy cars drive over it. You can take your uh, tape and you can roll it over and see what that does. You can use fingers. If you want, you can tape it right to the table so that it stays in place. Or in your instructions, there's a picture and the little boy has it hanging in his window. So you could just tape it right to the window and that would show you some really cool um, patterns with the light, the sunlight shining through. Okay, so there is our mess free paint in a bag. Enjoy. And what's great about this activity is that if the children do become a little bored with it after a while, the paint should stay wet because it has no access to air, it's sealed shut. So the paint will be wet in a week or two weeks. Um, so you can always just open up the bag, take the tape off, open it up, and reuse that paint for another activity. Okay, I hope you guys had fun, enjoy, and uh, I'm really excited to see what color red and yellow are gonna make. Okay, have fun.